Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and we're back with the King Gen software for part three. In the previous tutorials, I firstly showed you the basics of getting started with King Gen software. And in the second video, we had a look at drawing our own custom height maps. In this video, we're going to have a look at importing custom made POI packs so that we can install them in our randomly generated worlds in King Gen. Now, specifically, I'm going to look at the Compo pack. It's up to CP47. I've tested it with King Gen 9.1, which is the current version in Alpha 19.5 in 7 Days to Die, and it all works very well. And we're also going to have a look at how you would remove certain POIs from your map if you didn't particularly like them. Okay, let's get started. So I assume you've already got King Gen installed. And I've created a folder on my desktop for ease. I've dragged the actual XE file into there. And I've also created a folder called Maps where I can store all of my maps. And this is going to be convenient because we're going to be adding our POI packs and other details here. So this is just an easy place to find them. So I can recommend doing a folder to keep everything together. So firstly, let's download this Compo pack. We'll go to the internet. I'm going to go into Google and search for Compo pack. And there we go, we can see the first result there. If I click on that, it takes us to the Seven Days to Die community page. And the first post, the welcome post, has got some details on it. But we're interested in the installation for King Gen. So if I click on that now, it should take us to where the file is stored. It's a raw file. And on this screen here, we just need to look for download. Down the bottom left, you'll see there it's downloading. And once it's done, I'm going to click on the button on the side there and say show in folder. And from here, I'm just going to right click to cut it. Then I'm going to quit out all of this. Go back to my King Gen folder and paste it in there. So we've got everything together. Now it's a raw file, so we need to extract it into here. So I've got, uh, I think it's WinRAR installed. So I'm just going to say extract here. And there it's created the folder that we needed. So we can get rid of that one now if we want to. Let's take a look inside of here and see what we've got. The important things are that we have the actual prefabs themselves, the details and the files needed to make the prefabs. And then this one here is the one that we'll need access to from the KingGen software. And this is the actual list of the prefabs that are included in the Compo Pack and also all of the vanilla prefabs. The actual prefabs themselves need to be stored within the seven days to die prefabs folder. So what I will do now is I'll open up the prefabs folder. I'm going to click in there and say control A to select all of them. Right click to say copy. And then we're going to find where the vanilla POIs are all stored. If I go back to my main hard drive where my games and things are installed and go into program files 86. Look for the steam folder. Inside of the Steam folder, look for Steam Apps, then Common, then Seven Days to Die. And inside of there, you'll see the folder Data. We'll open that up. And in there, there is Prefabs. Once we've opened the Prefabs folder, all we need to do is right click anywhere inside and say Paste. Now, don't worry about making a mess of all of your vanilla prefabs if you decide you don't like the Compo Pack ones. You'll see that all of the Compo Pack POIs all start with an X, which just makes it that bit easier to find. So if I scroll through the list here, I can see after all of the vanilla POIs, all the ones that start with X, they all seem to be X costume as well or custom. So if we wanted to get rid of them, we could just highlight all of the ones that start with X and remove them. All right, let's come back out of there and we'll see about creating a random world. Now we could obviously use our own uh, height map like I showed you in the last video, but just for ease, I'm going to do a quick, easy one in here. Let's start with a 4K one. And Kingslayer, the developer of this software, very kindly pointed out that I just need to hit tab when I'm on this screen to switch to the advanced settings window. So let's test that. There we go, it works great. And I'm gonna leave everything here as default. These are all the standard settings. I haven't changed anything here. All I'm going to do is to go into the POI list and where it says vanilla, I'm going to change that to custom. And once I've clicked on that, we need to tell it exactly where this custom POI list is. So if you remember, I installed mine on the desktop in the King Gen folder. So if I go to desktop, open up King Gen folder, and there is the compo pack. If I open that up 
and there you can see their prefab list. If I open that up, there's the actual list and say open. So now the King Gen software will have access to all of the POIs from the original game and the extra ones. So let's go back. I'm going to use the tab button again this time. And then let's say generate world. There we are. And 12 seconds later, I can see already, I can tell that that's a new one. I've never seen anything that size in the vanilla game or that one. So it looks like it has worked, but the best test is to get it loaded up in seven days to die. So we'll do that now. Now I've already shown you twice how to copy this over to the or seven days to die game. So I'll not spend too long on this. That's my new one. I'm going to call it compo test, right click and cut seven days to die worlds, right click and paste. And then we'll quit out. I'm just going to minimize that and start up the game. So back in the game, let's start a new game. And I'm looking for the compo test. There it is. And we'll say start. The quickest way to find to see if there are any new POIs is just to hit escape when you've got developer mode on and you can see the option for open POI teleporter. So if I click on that, if you remember all of the combo pack POIs start with the letter X. So these are all the standard vanilla ones. Uh, so if I scroll through, should see at the end, there we go, all the ones that begin with X. So let's find something that is definitely not in vanilla airport. Uh, I haven't seen an airport, so let's try that out. Again, I've got fly mode on. And look at that. <laughs> That's great. Now I haven't tried any of these POIs out. I'm quite excited about doing it, so I don't want to look at this too closely. So I want to enjoy exploring it in game. And uh, there's a McDonald's. Uh, is it the actual restaurant? Let's have a look. Oh, it is. Oh, how about that? That's great. Again, I'm not going to look too closely because I want to enjoy it in the game. But that looks like it's working. Let's do one more. Yeah, oh, that is. That's a decent size, isn't it? So that's very simply how to add the combo pack to your King Gen generated game. But what if there are POIs that we don't want, or perhaps we only want a selection from the combo pack in our game? How do we go about doing that? Let's have a look at that now. So back in our King Gen folder, we can see there's the compo pack folder. If we open that up and go into the prefab list for safety, I'm just going to right drag that. It'll ask me what to do. I just want to make a copy there. So that's a backup, if you like, of the original list. And then I'm going to double click on the original list, open it with the notepad. I'll maximize it so it's easy to read. And then let's have a look for the compo pack files. And let's say that we want to remove the uh, army ones. So if I highlight anything to do with the army and just simply delete it, tidy up the space and then say file and save, close that back down. Now it's recommended that you don't just go straight back into your game after editing the POI list because the POI list isn't used by seven days to die. It's used by the generation software. So the map that's in the game could still contain the old POIs. They won't suddenly vanish. So we need to regenerate our world. So now I'm going to copy this new world into seven days to die and we'll have a look and see if the army POIs have been removed. So we'll go to new game and I'm going to have a look for the new one I've just created. I called it no army compo. There it is. So we'll start that. And very quickly, I'll hit F1, DM, enter. Then I'll hit escape and we'll open up the POI teleporter. We'll have a look for POIs that start with the letter X. And we can see here, there are no army POIs. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you have, please hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. Thanks again to King Slayer for sharing these videos. I really appreciate the support. Check out my channel for other videos, including Seven Days to Die and Ark and Space Engineers. And I'll see you again soon, perhaps with another tutorial. Bye-bye.